Let's now turn to a story of a Taiwanese teen who's become a best-selling author. Hermione Lee is a 17-year-old who has published a novel in English. The book, titled In the Name of the Other World, is a bestseller at Taiwan's largest online bookstore. For Musa News, reporter Stephanie Yang sat, sat down with Hermione to learn more about her journey as an author. Back then, before that miraculous adventure took place, I had not even the slightest inkling that everything about me, from my whimsical dreams to my relationships with others, was never a coincidence. She reads from the first chapter of her book. This is 17-year-old Hermione Lee. She recently published a young adult novel that became a bestseller at Taiwan's largest online bookstore. This is the first book of the series called The Name of the Other World. Her book, In the Name of the Other Worlds, is a story about an orphan teenager who is transported into a magical world with her classmates through their school's fountain. I published In the Name of the Other World two months ago, and there will be a second book and a third book in the series. This very important message to encourage teenagers to be themselves, which I think we should all we could all learn from the main characters. And then um, feminism and gender equality, and of course forgiveness also plays an important part in my story to reconcile with our past selves. There's also a lot of symbolism between the easily overlooked details in the plot. But I'll do some posts on that on my Facebook. Hermione said that the writing process was difficult. She completed the first draft of her novel at the age of 14. Although she hit some stumbling blocks while writing her book, she never gave up. When I was 13, the idea of In the Name of the Other World came to my mind. I decided to get it on paper, which is what I did. But I was 14 when I finished the first draft, and when I sent it to my aunt, she criticized it because I obviously had no idea how awful it was, but now I do. I have my writer friends to think, for my improving my style in the end. There's the procrastination block, the time when I just don't really believe in myself. I look at my outline and go like, this is too hard, I can't do this. So sometimes I just tell myself, today or tomorrow when I wake up, the first thing I'm gonna do is to go straight to my iPad and start writing it so I can overcome the procrastination obstacle. Lee grew up in Taiwan and attended a local Taiwanese school. She credits her fluency in English to reading English books often, listening to audiobooks, and listening to stories by her parents at a young age. My mom and dad read books to me when I was really young, and they played audiobooks when I was about to go to bed. So I started to, I started to get enchanted by the books. So I began to read for myself, and now I never stop reading or writing or both. Asked for advice for young writers, she says that the most important thing is to not slip into self-doubt. The most important thing is to not never self-reject because you never know how much potential human, pe human beings have. If you keep doubting yourself, you never get anywhere. I know a very good quote and I would like to share it with everyone. It's called, doubt tells more dreams than failure ever will. If you keep doubting yourself or demeaning your own value, you'll never get anywhere in life. She is brimming with ambition and hope for the future. She wants to do a TED Talk to share her journey of being a writer. Later on, she wants to hit the bestseller list of the New York Times. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Song Shu Hui in Taipei.